Alright, so the first step is to turn the bike on. Next, we're going to go through the small button at my left side here, where my thumb is on, and we're going to press that quickly several times until the screen displays the words setup. Next, we're going to use the info rocker switch up here, and we're going to rock either up or down, and you'll see on the menu where then you'll come up with ABS. And now it goes to the default selection of on. We want to turn off the ABS. So I'm going to go to the small info button below here, quickly tap that. It's flashing now, meaning I can make a change. Go back to the rocker switch. I have two selections, on or off. Click it again, you see it comes on, and vice versa. There we go again. So now I've got the position I want. I go back to the small info button, quickly press it, and now I have disengaged the ABS. Continuing with this rocker switch here, I'm gonna look for the Triumph Traction Control, TTC. Zero one is the default settings. Again, I'm gonna go back to the small info button. I'm gonna press it quickly. You'll see the zero one flashing, meaning now I can make a change. I go up to the rocker switch. There are three options here. Zero one, zero two for advanced, and finally, the off. I'm disengaging the Triumph Traction Control, the TTC. To confirm that, I go back down here to the info button and I quickly, quickly press it. And now you'll see it says off, and on the screen you'll also see the TTC highlighted there on the uh, speedometer tachometer part. Again, if I want to see what else I want to change, I continue to select the rocker switch, time set, change units, kilometers, miles, indicators, service, and now I'll go to return. If I go down to that info button, I quickly press that, it'll take me out of the setup selection and back to that other menu where the speed and other indicators are noted. And we're done.